Hi everybody, my name is Mel and I am starting a YouTube channel to document my journey thinking I'm going to print and sell 3D printed, mostly home decor. And let me tell you a little bit about myself. I get really excited about something and then I jump on it, learn it, get good at it, and then some other thing catches my eye and I'm completely thrown off and I'm into something else. And what happens is you have a plethora of unfinished projects, hobbies, businesses, and we're talking like actual businesses that have been officially created, uh, like legal entities, I know, and it creates a lot of chaos in my life, stress, uh, there's a lot of uh, fallout from living this way. So I'm going to start this channel in an attempt to, number one, maybe turn this in itself as a way to make some money. Number two, document my journey for other people that want to see what it's like starting from scratch. And if I can't make any money doing this because it's, number one, oversaturated, number two, I'm just plain doing it wrong, uh, number three, I uh, can't afford to build it up big enough because I'm not turning enough profit and have very little money to put into it. Um, number, I don't even know what number I'm on anymore. Four, five, four. Um, see something else shiny and totally get derailed. So there's any number of reasons why this could fail, but I will be documenting it for you. And, uh, you know, I see a lot of YouTube channels that are about making money with 3D printing and a lot of them, most of them, are already established and these people that are doing the printing, they seem pretty professional and they have these straight up like print farms going and it's like, it's a thing. And what a lot of them don't show is trials and tribulations to get to that point. So I'm going to show you from the very, very, very beginning, I'm gonna go back home and I'm gonna to try to gut my garage so that I can get all of the printers out of my house. I will link to all of my printers in the description if you guys wanna see you know, what it is, how much it costs now. I have an eBay shop and the eBay shop requires a lot of love to keep it alive. Anybody out there that sells on eBay, you know. Uh, eBay likes activity and if you're not listing new products, shipping quickly, uh, revamping your listings, basically showing your shop some love, uh, they kill you in the algorithm. So my shop is, uh, for lack of a better word, completely dead right now. My garage is full of what we in the eBay resale community, well, probably in multiple different platform communities, call it death pile. And this death pile, I had like a general store, which I don't know if that's smart or not, but it was a lot of donated stuff for my parents. The death pile is the bane of my existence right now. It is taking up valuable real estate that will be this print farm. Uh, anyway, I've got disabled American veterans coming at seven o'clock, I believe, tomorrow morning to pick up a donation stack. Um, we've got 10 boxes and or bags that we can put out. I'm gonna try to fight my inner hoarder and get that stuff out to the curb uh, tomorrow morning. You know, I gotta say, this is how it starts, right? I'm talking myself into keeping things already and I haven't even started going through it. All right, so I just got back home from my parents and as you can see, more stuff is coming in. So we've got these Grolsch bottles, and these are the ones with the ceramic tops. And my thought is um, beer making and hot sauce. They're gonna be perfect for that. And then these are ball jars with lids because we do sourdough starter. So yeah, this is how it happens. Uh, wish me luck on <laughs> getting more stuff out than I'm putting in. That was 
like classic me. I do three minutes worth of work and I decide I'm hot. So I'm going to go change and put my hair up. I don't know how much I'm going to get done. My son's inside doing homework and we're going to play some video games as soon as he's done. That's the incentive to do a good job. So um, we'll see how much we get done today. I'd like to get this area done, but time will tell. <laughs> table. I can walk there now, which is good. I feel like I was shuffling stuff from one side of the garage to the other, but got to get in there and see what's hiding. So that's it for now. Uh, my kid's pretty much done with his homework, so we're going to go play some Roblox. <laughs> make decisions on some stuff that I would have hummed and hawed about so feels weird to uh, not go through every article of clothing okay is this thing recording holy hell all right so first off I have some comments I don't even know if I'm in the frame there's so much stuff over here here let me tuck my bat wings in there we go there's so much stuff over here, I can't even get close enough to you to know that I'm in the frame, number one. Number two, this is annoying. So I've been editing today for like the last two hours and I'm realizing several things. Number one, nobody wants to look at my bubble wrap. I mean, it's a cool little setup. It cost me like two bucks. It's off the ground, that's great. This channel probably doesn't give crap. Well, unless you're selling your 3D prints, then you've got to protect them when you ship them. Okay, so maybe you care. Point is, that's one. Number two, I have horrible posture. I'm like doing this. I'm a hunching around. I say filler words a lot. Um, uh, what else? I don't know, there's more. Um and uh biggest defenders. So if you want to turn this into a drinking game, by all means. As you can see, not a whole lot of progress has been made. I have, uh, in two days, one of my best friends coming over to help me. I don't know how camera shy he is, probably, kind of. So he may or may not be on camera, but I will try to document our progress. I know the video is long and probably boring. Next to you. Oh yeah, sorry. My zit has its own zip code. So try not to look right here. I'll just do this. I had a crisis not that long ago. I'm, I've got like a ticking time bomb here to turn this into something. If you want to support the channel, check out the links in the description below. See you in the next one.